Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging to do today with a box in it. Exciting stuff. And I'll just quickly show you a couple of completions that I've done as well. These have all been sent to me from the lovely people at dpclubs.com. Um, I've been showing their products for quite a while now and really enjoying seeing them all and really enjoying doing them and receiving them. So I'll just quickly show you this. This is a huge bunny basket with flowers and eggs all ready for Easter. And I did actually get this one uh, in April last year. So <laughs> I've had it a while. It is still on the website. So I will put the link down below as well. But I just thought you'd like to see it before I do the ceiling and kitting down and everything on this one. Seeing as we are coming up to Easter, but it's come out absolutely gorgeous and it's such a huge size as well it's wonderful and it has its little stand and everything and there was lots of gems left over so yay that's that one and then our little mirror that i got uh, in december last year so it's that i tend to have it this is actually a little hand mirror which is really really cute lovely for yourself or any little girl would probably love that one with the butterfly on Again, it needs sealing, so I will be doing that and I will do full, more in-depth completion reviews on them. But I just thought you'd like to see that uh, I have been doing some of these as well and I am cracking on with my Easter things. So I do have uh, a playlist for DP Clubs. So if you go into my playlists up there and click on it, you'll get a list of all playlists, all the categories of videos that I do. And if you look on the DP Clubs one, I say that one is from December last year and that one is from April last year so you can have a proper look at the unboxings but let's get on to the new things yay okay so there are some special offers on at dp clubs at the moment and i do like to tell you about special offers so you know if you are wanting to go and have a look at the website go and check out any special offers that are on so at the moment if you buy one item there is 16 percent off uh, if you buy 10 items, you get 21% off. And if you buy 20 items, it's 25% off. Wow, excellent. And over $45 is free shipping. So that's round about the £40-ish mark. So, yeah, excellent value. Um, when I'm looking at things, I do like to, uh, as I spot things, put them into my basket or put them into my wish lists. And then I tend to save everything up. And when there's special offers and things on, then I'll put everything together so that I get some money off or get some free items or free shipping or whatever. I do like to get special offers on things. <laughs> okay look at this it's a special project but look at that and this is a really really fat box really full and i think you can see what this one is and then i just ordered a little diamond painting pen as well i do like to go and have a look through all the different bits and pieces i do like to go and have a look at special offers and everything on sites and if they say free postage in this case $45 and, uh, and maybe a couple of dollars short on getting the free postage then you can always just add say a diamond painting pen or one of your little tools or something extra some wax or something like that into your order to get that free shipping it's always worth it so yay but this one is like um, for special drills and things look it's got like your waxy pencil end there so you can pick up your special drills and it's got a nice cover on it as well so it's keeping it uh, from getting fluff and dust and anything on there so yeah that's why i ordered this one because i do like my special drills and i thought oh that's really pretty and i love the colors i mean it's got a hot pink in it so what can i say but yeah i just thought that will be just handy to have um, just either in my desk drawer or my little whatnot that I have downstairs and I can just use it if I need to put some little drills on so yay very very nice the price of this one was two dollars and 99 cents and it has got a hole in the end as well for safety okay but let's have a look at this I've been waiting for this to come because it just looks wonderful it is a wooden easter egg rabbit chip a special shaped diamond painting lamp so this one lights up and the price of this one was $17.99 which will work out probably around about 15 ish pounds depending on the exchange rates okay so let's 
let's get into this box. I can't wait to see what we've got. Okay, so ooh, we've got our battery pack there, huge battery pack uh, with three AAA batteries. So this should last a long time. And we've got the little strip light there with the um, LED lights on it. So that's a strip light to go around. Okay, we have our gems, all crystals. Ooh, and we have a little stand there. And pen boat wax and a few little grip seal bags. And then I think these are the outsides of the egg. This one just looks like it's got a little bit scraped. That's a shame. Oh, it's just just got a little bit cracked there. Oh dear. Okay, we'll have to have a play about with that one. Okay. So we've got that. Oh, it has completely snapped. Look. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, we can stick that back together. I will let them know. Um Yeah, I will let them know, but that's just caught a little bit there, hasn't it? I think it's probably been hanging over this edge, maybe. Yeah, we've just got a little bit of it there, look, as well. Okay, but uh, yeah, it's this bendy wood, which is really difficult to do. If you're um, a carpenter and you've seen these, then this is really difficult to get wood to bend, to cut it properly, so it doesn't snap and it still bends. So that's that one. We've got our instructions. Oh, I think somebody's uh, ink cartridge was running out of magenta. <laughs> yeah, we've printed out the instructions, but with, uh, yeah, no red in it. <laughs> so it's telling us how to uh, put together our egg here. So it's like a 3D stand with the lights on the outside well they're on the inside of the outside as it were so that it shines into like a 3d scene so that's showing that i will put it all together on camera once i have got it done but we have a cute bunny okay so we've got our egg shape okay so lovely big size look at that and what will actually happen is that these outside bits will fold up and go into those little slots around there and then that will go into there so the outside edges will be like this brownie color you've got your little stand there for it to stand into and then the lights all go on the inside of this egg this shape here so that when you put it all together the lights are shining onto the little bunny but they'll also be shining sort of coming out as well as it were okay oh that's gorgeous right loving this yeah the little led lights so it just makes it easier rather than having them all on like a string that you have to wrap around these are on i think it's self-adhesive let's have a look yeah, these lights are self-adhesive, so you peel the backing off and they're sticky so that they'll stick all around the edges. So I will make this on camera once I've got it done, as I say, and uh, then we'll get some batteries and put the lights on. Okay, so we have our gorgeous bunny. Look, that's a really happy bunny. Look at those eyelashes. Wow, I'd love eyelashes like that. <laughs> With lots of eggs in the little basket. Yay! And then we have a little basket of flowers there. Very pretty. So these are acrylic and the actual egg and the outside of the egg and the stand are wooden. So we've got a mix of acrylic and wooden. Very pretty. And then the basket to go at the back. So actually, that is that basket look. But rather than putting all the gems on here, which you aren't actually going to see, they've just put them on the front piece. So as you look at the 3D, you will just literally be looking at all your crystals. Wow. OK, so we've got the base there. The basket will go at the back. OK, and then the flower basket will go in front of that. And then bunny will go there okay oh no 
all oh, right okay i see so bunny goes in the next one i was just thinking bunny's covering everything up so bunny's gonna go there and then your flower basket is going to go in the front there yay so you get all your flowers all your basket with your eggs in and your bunny and then you'll just have your little front on the front there and then your background oh that's going to be so cute look at that and then it'll all light up as well oh this is a definite like keepsake isn't it so once you've got it done um i would suggest sealing it just in you know if you're gonna put it away or whatever and uh, yeah then it can come out each year but actually this one i know it's egg shaped but you're not really seeing the eggs quite so much so you could probably keep it out after easter as well and you've just got a happy bunny lovely for uh, a child's be uh, bedroom i think as well as like a little night light but isn't that cute and i love the way it all goes together and you've got the mixture of the acrylic and the wooden parts as well wow that is one very happy bunny i have to say oh and i do like my bunnies my house is just going to be filled with bunnies this easter <laughs> okay so we will have a look at the crystals we'll just leave bunny all together for now so how many colors have we got and what crystals have we got oh up to 28 colors look so we've got these big amber gems there which look like they're going to be the middles of the flowers okay and let's just so actually there's not a huge amount to uh, diamond paint on this so if you are quick and get your order in you sh should get this in time depending obviously on where you live for easter to get it done for easter so it's not like doing all of the egg and everything that uh, has gems on it it is just your bunny and your top of your basket there and then just the front of your basket there so not too much to do to get it done for easter which to be fair i'm quite pleased about because i've got so many easter projects that i'm doing at the moment and i want to get them all done and up now um and i do want to try and have a little bit of sleep in between as well <laughs> So, right, it looks like it is just the one special of these large amber colour. Okay, so where do we start? We are at number one, which is your standard crystal. Oh, something's a little bit grubby, look. I've got uh, black come off something on my hands. I think it could possibly be the wood. I think it's the edges of the wood, maybe. <laughs> Okay, and we've got a lovely cherry red and a bit of a sort of a bronzy colour and a pale peach and a pale lemon and a little bit brighter lemon and a lovely grassy green and a pale blue and a darker blue and that's a very pale sort of lilac-y purple colour and then we have a little bit deeper grapey purple colour and a honey gold and a lovely bright orange and a bronzy colour there and then that's like a pale greyish colour a little bit of standard acrylic 310 black a very very pale pink and a little bit deeper pale pink <laughs> so it's going to be quite pastel -y colours to be honest a few bright ones just thrown in there as well but a very nice very soft colour palette this one she says as she picks up the pinks. <laughs> so we've got a pink there and a little bit darker pink and a purple, a lavender colour, lavender colour and a darker purple. That's lovely. That's a real different shade to that one. And then that's like a purpley blue. Oh, and an aqua colour. That's gorgeous. And then another green and a gold colour and we have a hot pink i was beginning to think then there was going to be no hot pink in this but we have a hot pink at the end yay <laughs> wow so hot pinks yay <laughs> 
this is great love this so i will do this on camera i will uh, do it all together um i've been looking at this and although it's got a little bit squished i think uh, a little bit of glue and uh, a little bit of uh, brown marker pen but a little bit bit of brown alcohol marker pen will mend that it's just to go at the bottom once it's all um done it will be fine so there's no gems or anything on this it is just literally you wooden outside but that's fine but yeah that takes some doing that making wood bendy but yeah that is uh, really good something a little bit different and we do like different and i do like to try things but that is a very happy bunny very nice and i love the background of this as well with all the different eggs and colours and the little daffodils coming up there as well. Very spring. Very, very nice. And I like the fact that we've got pictures and words, although it's a difficult to read the words, sadly, because uh, I think the pinks run out on the printer on this one. They're a magenta colour, because, yeah. <laughs> that's just a little bit pale yellow for me. But, uh, yeah, that's fine. I think it shows you pretty much how to do it and so i will uh, make it all up once i've got it done we'll do it together on camera and see what mistakes i can make <laughs> i make mistakes so you don't have to okay well i absolutely love this huge thank you dp clubs for sending me it and uh, thank you for sending me the completions that i've done as well they're absolutely fabulous so if you've enjoyed this video, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to come back and see me put all this together and light it up and see what we can get done and uh, join our little family, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you won't miss anything. Yay! okay thanks ever so much for stopping by don't forget to check out dp club special offers and i will see you all again soon bye for now